after drawing the uh, horizontal perpendicular line, we take note that the first circle at the middle, yeah, the external one, the, it is of what of diameter 50. So with radius 25, I produce my circle of what of diameter 50 in this manner, which is this, all right? And the circle inside of it is what is diameter 32. And that is what, that is radius 16. With a compass, measure radius 16 and draw. Okay, so after drawing that with radius 16, take note there is a line that goes towards this area and it is subtended at what at angle 15 degree. Okay, so the, the degree of this line is what is at angle 15 degree. Okay, so from this midpoint downward is what is mark 45. So with my ruler, I measure mark what mark 45, and I'm going to project that mark what horizontally. Okay, so after projecting that mark of 45 horizontally, okay, so, so from uh, the two circles at the bottom here, the distance separating them is what mark 75, with a compass measure radius 37.5, then towards the left strike an arc and here strike an arc. All right, so after doing that, I'm going to drop a pendulum on this point. So with radius 25, with radius 12.5, I draw my first circle here. And I draw my what second circle right here. Okay, after doing that, towards this area also, I'm going to draw a line at angle what at angle 15 degree towards this direction also. Okay, so after projecting this line of 15 degree, so with your compass, measure radius 60. Measure radius 60. Then from this center, draw an arc in this manner. Okay, so this arc is going to act as the midpoint for the other three circles here. All right. So with radius 12.5, I place my compass here. I produce my circle of diameter 25. Likewise on this area. Then on this area also. Okay, after doing that, what was the next thing? At the bottom here, we are having what? A tangent. Yeah, it is just a tangent here, a straight line. Which is set with. So towards this area, this area, this area, and this area, we are having what? We are having tangential curve. Tangential curve. All right, and the curve there are what are all external arc. So we are applying the principle of what? the principle of addition. So let's start from the bottom here. The radius of our arc is what is radius 40, and the radius of our circles are what are 12.5. So 40 plus 12.5 is what is 52.5 with your compass measure radius 52.5. Okay, so with radius 52.5, I place my compass here. Right here, I strike my first arc. Then right here, I strike my what second arc. So right here, I strike my first arc. Then also right here my what my second arc right here my first arc then right here my what second arc right here my first arc and right here also my what my second arc so the next thing is with your compass measure radius 40 then draw the what draw the external arcs so with radius 40 from this point here the point of intersection here i what i draw our first arc which is this with the same radius 40 on the point of the intersection here, I would, I draw our second what, our second arc. With the same radius 40 on the point, third point of the intersection here, I draw what, I draw our third arc. All right. With the same radius 40 on the fourth point of the intersection here, I draw what, I draw our fifth arc. I draw our fifth arc. Okay. So that is the solution to this particular problem. Kindly ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it. Thank you.